All right, guys, welcome back. Survival Living here. So let's talk about securing your precious metals, your wealth. All right, guys, so we've been doing a lot more with stacking silver and gold. Well, a little bit of gold, but silver and gold. I think this is a good idea for economic collapse and protection against hyperinflation, but that's me. Some people don't agree. Some people think that stacking up silver and gold is a waste of time. You know what, guys? You do you. I'll do me on my level of preparedness. You don't have to do what I do. Now, when it comes to protecting this stuff, as you see, we've got a nice case here. We've got our bars and all that good stuff and coin rounds. Um, I don't leave everything out in the open. So I've got a couple ideas for you guys. And no, I'm not using these ideas because I'm presenting them here on the Internet. Yeah. Now, when it comes to storing your stuff, sure, if you got a wall safe that's hidden, awesome, awesome. Me, I don't have a wall safe that's hidden. This right here, having everything in this little bag, this case, it looks nice, it's convenient, but it's not secure. What happens if somebody breaks into your home while you're gone? Now, something like this, you could technically carry it with you on your trips. I mean, you could. But if you want to secure it somewhere in your home, what are you going to do? All right, so that's what today's video is. I'm going to give you a couple ideas on where you can kind of stash your gold and silver. And like I said, you don't have to use these ideas. These are just ideas you need to be thinking outside the box on this, in my opinion. Uh, again, I don't have a safe to put this stuff in. And then also a safe is a target now i am strictly talking about in today's society of theft i am not talking about shit hits the fan because some of our items that ideas that we have is actually hiding it in food <laughs> i know right <laughs> hiding precious metals in food and this is actually something that has been done in the past so obviously during a shtf event you don't want to hide your precious metals in a frozen loaf of bread because they're going to take that bread. But your normal thieves are not going to go into your freezer and go steal a frozen loaf of bread in today's society. So these are some good ideas that I have. At least I think they're good ideas and I want to offer them to you. So let's get into it. Okay, so we are out back. We're in the little shop area. Well, the little tool room. We store a lot of stuff. Places like this is on property. Now, plenty of tools, nice little places. But I want to focus down here, guys. We've got uh, we got some paint cans. Now, right fast, empty paint cans. Well, that's a good idea. But empty paint cans, you run into an issue that. Most people use empty paint cans as storage, but, and most people know that, but what about actual cans full of paint? That's right, guys. We hid this inside the paint. Let me get a, a glove on here. Now this here is, um, we got a Ziploc bagged up. And good thing about paint, is that it already weighs something okay so if you go pick up an empty can you notice that there's something rattling around in it a full paint can on the other hand has weight correct correct so yeah we got our our silver in here See if I can navigate in this without getting totally painted out. All right, I'm gonna remove this, and I did get paint all over me. Awesome! But hey, we got 25 ounces of silver right here in a one-gallon paint can. Just put in Ziploc bags. Personally, I think it's a very good idea because how many extra paint cans and stuff you could write on this thing Don't use bad paint or old paint or whatever or you can 
not bring any attention to it, stack it with a whole bunch of old paint cans, empty cans, things like that, and you got it secured. Who in the world that's breaking into your home looking for precious anything is going to go dig through your old paint cans? Interesting idea. All right, so the next one I've got for you is PVC piping. Yeah. You know, you can actually rig up PVC piping and make a false pipe system underneath your bathroom sink, going through the cabinet. You know, PVC pipe can hold a lot of items. And uh, who's going to really look for it? All right, so if you put a false bottom in this, you can stack your silver in this you can have this piped in where it actually looks like piping inside your cabinet space let me show you because it kind of looks like everything else you got a piping that you've fit it through here and running up there might elbow off into another cabinet where you can have access to it comes right off pretty cool idea all right guys so I'm gonna take right fast and go over a veteran owned company we're not affiliated at all with them but one of our veterans here on the channel who also has his own channel crafty veteran a good friend of mine had reached out to me uh, he actually knows Kevlar Joe and Kevlar Joe is a veteran that runs his own coffee house so guys we went ahead and ordered the breakfast Joe and of course I went and got the limited edition coffee cup so It's good. They have different flavors. This is the Breakfast Joe. This should be a pop-up, guys, going over all the different type of flavors. They got uh, apple pie. They got red, white, red, white, and berry. They got all kind of different ones out there. I'm not much into the flavored coffee. I drink mine black. And this is the medium roast breakfast blend. They got dark roast. They can grind them. They can send you whole beans. I asked for the ground coffee itself. This is American made. And again, guys, it is veteran owned and veteran operated. So if you guys are looking for a good cup of coffee, and it is, definitely check them out. Links are in the description to their website. Again, we're not affiliated with them, but it is a veteran company, and I'm very happy to help promote them here on our channel. All right, guys. Talk so here's another great idea for you. We got the freezer. Now, during SHTF, uh, I wouldn't advise hiding precious metals in any type of food, but for your normal break-ins and things like that, well, we got ice cream. All right, good old ice cream, ladies and gentlemen. I know. Horrible. Who would waste so much ice cream? Well, don't worry about it because I made sure I bought some for my wife because I know she's not going to be happy about uh, me wasting so much ice cream. So, throw some water on it here. Let's not forget one of the easiest things in the world, your backyard, your back 40s, whatever. Precious metals can be put in a container and put in a location. You always know where it's at. Uh, 
basic navigation skills and writing down your azimuth, you'll know exactly where it's at. But if you're the one bearing it, you'll automatically know where it's at. But if you want to write things down as far as your location, which I don't recommend, you could. You could put it in code, whatever. Your backyard. Now, I've seen the comments um, because we bury food as well. Shelf-stable food we put in the ground below the frost line, and it works as a root cellar. But I read the comments. Uh, but if someone has a metal detector, they'll find your stuff. One, this is a property. In other words, anybody stepping onto the property has to deal with us and our security measures. Two, if you go below 10 feet, metal detectors are not going to pick it up. But digging 10 feet hole is, is a job, all right? The odds of somebody walking around your backyard with a metal detector are very slim and were very slim that you would not know that they were there. Let's put it that way. But just an idea, uh, because I see those comments all the time, a metal detector will find your food. They, yeah, they would have already been swacked when they got onto the property. So yeah, metal detector versus defensive tool. Hmm, I guess in a melee weapon fight, maybe. And, that is that guys so yeah silver gold bars rounds depends on what you want to do with them if you got a safe that's hidden awesome you know everything from fake furniture to pvc piping to burying it to put it in ice cream frozen meats these things are good ideas for today's theft all right where in today's society people are coming in because they're not spending a lot of time in your home when they're breaking in in today's society so they're not really looking they're looking for the easy grab where you normally have stuff all right they're not looking through old paint cans full of paint trying to find if you have any precious metals in them really good idea as far as precious metals i have easy access to some because we're doing videos and stuff like that so you gotta have my prop the majority of our stuff may never be found mm. That's just all the ways to it. So, just a few ideas, guys. All right, speak to y'all later.